Welcome Capricorn to your chakra reading for September. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what's going on. Keeping you balanced, going after your intentions. And at the end of the reading, I'm going to have the Law and Attraction cards out for extra help on Law and Attraction. Okay. Best message, please, for Capricorn for this month. And remember, friends, if this doesn't resonate with you, you can always watch your Rising Moon or Venus. And one more, guys. Talking about a miracle. Wow. Talking about that solar plexus miracle. Waiting for a miracle to come in is what a lot of you are doing. You are lawn attracting, waiting for this miracle, working hard for it. Really putting that intention out there with the solar plexus. Um, very nice. So this miracle is asking you the question though, right? <laughs> Here's the question. What is it that's bringing you joy? What is the essence of the inspiration that is your integrity. Can I be counted on? Is this miracle good for me? Is this why it's coming this way? Am I lighting the way for others? Coming in miracles, gifts, rewards, and integrity. Waiting for that reward. So there's all these questions that your soul always asks you, right? Am I doing it right? Am, you know, am I putting enough into it? Am I, my intentions, good intentions? Um, is this right for me? Okay, so... Getting straight into here. Angels and Masters coming out. With the Angels and Masters over here, it is talking about the Soul Star Chakra, which is located and anchoring off of your Crown Chakra at the top of your head. Um, this is where the Divine is. This is where the Divine Guidance is coming from. And you can see all your chakras are your chakras. It's almost like the Divine is saying, are you keeping all of your chakras in a row to get to your miracle? Are you keeping your intentions proud, loud, strong, positive? You know, your, guard, your guardian angels and masters are over here wanting you to understand the experiencing difficulties and challenges of the late. And the angels want you to know that you are not alone and that they're doing everything in their power to assist you in the spirit world for your miracle. Whoa. There's your answer. Right? Are you keeping everything aligned? Making sure that you have what you have and doing what you're supposed to be doing. Making sure that you are aware that the masters do exist, making sure that the intention can come through and making yourself very positive and keeping yourself positive. But it does say that they are here, but they are worried about the stresses at hand. All right? Fragmenting energy. So, clarifying on the angels, having the spiritual awareness. Wow. Going straight from, <laughs> you're going to go straight, right? Having the, this crown chakra right here. Having this spiritual awakening. Having the understanding. And going through this spiritual awakening. So it's like the angels are saying, you know what? I want you to have this intention, but I want to also give you a spiritual awakening. I want you to take it to the next level. I want you to do what you need to do to keep yourself balanced. Wow. Wow, guys. Powerful stuff right here. Right? It's telling you, you're a miracle. You want it. We're trying to help you. I need you to have this spiritual awakening. I need you to take it to the next level. So having the spiritual awakening with the crown chakra is talking about pulling you into this spiritual awakening and planting the seeds and knowing and waking up slowly but surely to see more. I want you to see more. And the more that it becomes uncomfortable about what it is that's fragmenting your energy from getting to your miracle, and the more challenging it is, the more you're going to wake up. Spiritual awakening is not um, something that's like, oh, it was so wonderful. No. 
It's challenging. It's hard. It hurts. It brings up things we don't want to bring up. It makes us see things in different lights that are uncomfortable. It makes you go from old beliefs of certain uh, things that you're holding tightly to that's fragmenting the energy from having your intention, old relationships, old things. Um, it's bringing in the support and the growth from the past, making you relive the past, things that hurt. And the angels are saying, once you get here, I will bring in this intention. I will bring in this miracle for you of what you were looking for. But I also want you to nurture this process of meditating, attending a weekly spiritual group, reading books, whatever it is, watching your tarot shows, whatever you're doing to help yourself, right? Time for the great change. But you have to be true to your structure, right? Because you have to have that belief system. You can't just, you know, 100% say, oh, I'm do this and then have your, your, whatever you guys are going for, it's something big and you know it, right? It's huge. It has to be. Why would the angels want you to have all your, all of your chakras 100% balanced for an intention? You know, we get small intentions all the time. It doesn't matter, you know, because of the law and attraction, right? We can still get things in. But whatever miracle, you're looking for a miracle. And they're pretty much saying, you have to do this, though. And you have to be completely, you know, 100% balanced for this type of thing. So whatever it is you guys are going for, it is, it's flipping huge, right? <laughs> Just like it is. It's flipping huge. It's, um, you know, because I mean, look, it wants you to get past all of these other things to have this spiritual awakening. And like I said, this isn't one of those things you hear people because if people are telling you it's okay, man, it's really cool. And it was this and no, it's not. They didn't have a spiritual awakening. Okay. That's just BS. Spiritual awakening hurts. <laughs> it's like doing reflective work. It's like doing shadow work. Shadow work is a part of a spiritual awakening. It hurts. It's only wonderful once you get past all of the pains and then you can see clearly and then you get balanced and then after everything is done and over with, then you're like, whoa, now it's cool because I feel relief. I feel good. I don't feel like I'm holding on to that. I'm not fragmenting my energy. I know exactly what I want and I'm going straight for it. That's where the good comes in, right? That's where the psh, right? So many people out there. This isn't like doing acid or something, okay? I mean, it's not, you know? So it makes me wonder, okay? I don't know what's going on, but that's not it. There it is, fragmented energy. That, thank you, spirit. Thank you. And I just kept hearing it. And there's your card. It's because you have fragmented energy. You're splitting your intentions in all different directions, not holding close to what you need, fragmenting your energy from positive to negative, kind of the wishy-washiness, not keeping yourself centered, holding on to past things that are splitting energy, um, and you need to let those things go by having the spiritual awakening to dig deep within yourself and say, hey, you know what, this is a learning test. This is the way life is. Once you have that spiritual awakening, you'll have the understanding that... All the bad stuff that's happened in life is for learning reasons. We're karmic beings and we hold on to bad karma and good karma. And all the bad karma is the stuff that's coming back that why, why does my life suck over here? And why is the past suck? And this horrible, horrible thing happened to me. Why did this happen to me? But that was because that was your learning test and that's what you're here to do on this planet. That was your test. Just, you know, always think of it as kind of a chessboard. It happens. Might even be Monopoly. <laughs> It's like, I had that hotel, hit my hotel, and you know it's on boardwalk, right? Nobody's hitting it. No one's hitting it, you know? And it's like, man, but I keep hitting all your hotels. I'm going to tell you. So, your soul wants you to know. Yeah. So once you get your energy back to where it's supposed to be, and your heart chakra is exactly where it's supposed to be with the energy... Everything will start rolling together. If I fight on what your soul needs, this will bring in the new beginnings for you. Then you will have a new cycle. I cherish all the cycles in my life and we were just talking about that. Thank you, Spirit. Oh my gosh, we were just talking about that. The monopoly. <laughs> just literally just talking about that, right? 
being grateful for every cycle within your life, whether it was horrible or whether it was good. Once you have a spiritual awakening and you come to the horrible things that happen, and then you feel grateful because I learned this from that, and I learned this from that, and I learned this and that and that and this, because everything that we held as a backpack was a learning stone and it was a stepping stone in life to get you to the path of knowledge, spiritual growth, and becoming more aware and more centered within your life. That's how we learn and grow. It's just like the child. The child hates it because he's learning to walk and he keeps falling and he keeps falling, but you keep picking him back up or he keeps picking himself back up and he's going to fall again. And then there's going to be a time where he's going to look at you and say, I fell. Well, yeah, you're going to fall until you completely learn how to walk. And you're learning how to walk within life, right? So getting over here, then you can also get to your intentions. So your angels want you to know there is something better once you have this. They're going to give you something better. This is the gift. This is the miracle that they're saying. There is something better. I have a gift for you. I have your miracle. I need you to do this though. Do it for yourself. Always for yourself, never for another person. Because spiritualness and growth is for yourself. You can then push it out to other people. It will help your family, help your children, help things of this nature. But at first you must help yourself. I mean, maybe the miracle in the end is for the family, for your children, but you have to work on yourself first. <clears throat> Clarifying on the new beginnings, the fragmented energy, and this miracle that you're looking for, rejection. You feel like you're rejected. You keep putting yourself out into the cold. It feels like you're putting yourself out in the cold, closing off your heart chakra, not keeping the compassion to yourself by fragmenting at energy. So pretty much spirit saying you are your own conductor of your fragmented energy and keeping your, your miracle away because of your own rejection and neglection to your own cycle growth. But angels say there's something better. of fortune, bringing in the stability, bringing all the chakras, bringing the root chakra as well with the compassion coming out. So you have the four, which is the root chakra. Um, this is talking about the stability, right? And then you have the green, the compassion is coming back through. You know exactly where you're supposed to be. And then the doors are opening. And yes, there's something better for you. It's that miracle coming in. It's that wheel of fortune. It's the good fortune, the good things. Why? Because you got yourself into high priestess mode. You did everything you were supposed to do. You had the spiritual awakening. The spiritual knowing, getting into the knowing, getting into the intuition, getting into the higher self um, for the perfect timing of the understanding of what you're doing. Wow. Bringing in the clarity and the new beginnings of a new clear ideas, new clarities of what's going on around you with the self-growth. But the Ace of Swords is a self-growth card. And it's saying you're clear about the self-growth, about the awakening, about everything that's going on around you. Uh, really getting deep within your secrets of yourself could be even dark secrets as you're going through this spiritual awakening and then your miracle can come in. Wow. And getting to your law and attraction card to help you along the way. Beautiful reading guys. Like I said, if it doesn't resonate with you, you can always go watch your rising moon or Venus. I attract the essence of my thoughts. Wow, now that's for sure. And we're looking at all this yellow over here. We're talking about the intention and we're talking about that fragmented energy. You are the essence of your own thoughts. You are the essence of what you speak as well. You speak negative about yourself. Um, yeah, then nothing's gonna come in, right? You think negative about yourself, nothing's gonna come in. You can sit over here and fragment your energy and say, I'm gonna have this, but maybe I'm not worth this. Well, okay, fine. Then you're not going to get that miracle. So I attract the essence of my own thoughts. The law of attraction and its magnetic power reaches out into the universe and attracts other thoughts that are vibrationally like it and brings that to you. And so you are getting the essence of what you are thinking about. 
whether it is something you want or something you don't want. So in the process of doing this while you're doing your spiritual awakening and doing everything you're doing over here, my friends, make sure that you're thinking about the things you truly want, keeping this one miracle alive and not fragmenting and, you know, one day saying, well, it's not coming. So I guess I'm not going to ever get it right downplaying. Okay. So make sure that you keep that intention and don't allow anything else in the way. Okay. And that was the reading for you, my friends. Stay balanced out there. Peace and love. Bye-bye.